everyone, Shihan Ali here from Long Island Ninjutsu Centers, and I wanted to take this time to send a message of hope out to everyone for this holiday season and throughout the entire year, and of course the upcoming year of 2013. Um, let's think about some of the things that have gone on. You know, we have some positive things in our lives, we have some negative things in our lives, and at times we're overrun by all the negative stuff that we hear. You know, the media, the forms of the internet, you know, newspapers, television, whatever, forwards, all of those things come to us in the form of bad news. And of course, things like the tragic event that had just happened a few days ago, it's devastating. And I'm not to say to discount it in any way, but the more we think about sadness, the more we become sad. The more we think about negative things, the more negative we become. I'm not saying uh, to do what I call the ostrich syndrome by putting your head in the sand and hoping that when you pull it out, everything is rosy and beautiful. I'm just saying that the more we surround ourselves with positivity, the more our lives will become positive. The more we surround ourselves around good people, the more our lives will change. And this is important. This is a thing that we have to concentrate on in our lives. We have to actually work hard to build those mental muscles. Just like we build our physical muscles, we have to build our mental muscles to be able to see all the positive things, to think positive thoughts, to be happy on a regular basis, to share with others the thoughts that we have and, and compliment and be caring and loving and compassionate, empathetic. We have to do that on a regular basis to become great at it. So my lesson of the day, my tip for you, all of the ninjutsu fans on my YouTube page or my students or the families and parents, just please work towards think of thinking of the positive things in life. Work hard on keeping that positive frame of mind. Try to, you know, void yourself of all the negativity that goes on around you. There really is no reason for us to kind of keep throwing that into our brain. You know, think about it. If we didn't hear about this terrible tragedy, we would not be affected by it. Other than, you know, it happened. We know that. I'm not saying that we don't want to, to, to hear about it, but we don't want to continually see it. And the media will keep throwing it and feeding it down our throats until we're sick to our stomachs. So we have to kind of look at this and say, okay, it's a shame. I'm sad over this. This is something that we have to try to change in our society. But really, honestly, we have to work towards creating a positive environment. And the more we do that, the more the world will change. It'll become a better place. It'll be a utopia not a dystopia, right? So let's work hard on staying positive throughout the holidays, past the holidays, and all the way into 2013. Practice what I consider kajo waraku, the heart of a flower. Always have that loving heart that will open every day with no grudge being held to the sun. Smiling and happy. Not like, you know, the weather was bad yesterday and it never holds a grudge and says, I'm not opening up tomorrow. The sun comes back out and that flower opens up. So the, th the theory of kajowaraku, the heart of a flower, we should bring that into our lives and embrace it. Thanks for listening. Arigato gozaimasu. Until next time. Sayonara.